Hi guys, uh, welcome. This is Martin from De Evolved. Myself and Clive went on an explore today, something we didn't think would be possible, uh, especially not where we live. Um, hopefully you guys are really going to enjoy this. Is it all just in that direction, is it? Yeah, it's just in a straight line. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's about a foot in water. Yeah? Yeah. Is there anywhere to sort of put your feet, or is it literally you're going to go straight in? <laughs> um, <laughs> you're probably going to go straight in. Yeah. I'm impressed that that hole's opening up as well. Definitely step on a couple of bits. Yeah. I mean. <sighs> Satisfying sound hearing all that stuff fall away. Got an opening there, which is cool. And then we've got an opening that pans around to the right, I think, as well. Possibly right down the end. This went as far as we thought. Uh, 15 feet, is that? Okay. It's not as far as it went. Uh, oh, bollocks, I forgot the talk. Right, guys, um, yeah, this is Martin, the Evolved. Uh, me and one of our members, Clive, his son, Mitchell, is with us today. Uh, and we are currently filming uh, an underground bunker. Uh, where we live, which everyone says doesn't exist, so happy days. Um, yeah, quite ecstatic to find it. It's not overly big, it's not overly well preserved or anything, um, but it's here and there's reminiscence of like old seats, wooden benches, paint cans, old bottles. Um, but yeah, so we're going to keep filming. Alright, okay. Mitchell's on his way down now. We've uh, just got into the bunker, here he comes. Try not to blind you. Yeah, basically, if I move myself around a bit. Not much room to move. what we've got so uh, yeah so guys it doesn't go off as far, far as we had thought it does but it does go along and we don't know if there's a hatch at the top or not so we'll have a look down there in a second uh, and try and figure out the safest way to do it hopefully without getting soaked yeah here we are we're inside and uh yeah, we'll film what happens next. We'll catch up shortly. But this is a surprise because we've always been told that there's no underground bunkers and tunnels where we live. And this kind of proves that there is at least an underground bunker. So that's good. Right, peace guys, and catch up in a minute. Right guys, I've managed to get in. Um, oh, my boot is getting wet. I was just about to say I'm lucky my boots aren't getting wet as the water just came seeping in. But, oh well, I mean, at least my feet are protected. Oh, it does go right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not very far though. No, it just literally splits off and it goes in uh, about two meters. It could be, yeah, there's like a drain in the corner. This is mad. Oh, look, 
There's a doorway that's been blocked up. Yeah. Yeah. So it would have turned left, which means it would have carried on going straight ahead, I think. Right. If that is what that is. Are you in? I'm in. No, my feet are well wet now. I've kind of like made my peace with that, but <laughs> it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's all right. I think they'll be quite surprised when we tell them or show them what we found. Yeah. That it does actually go under. So this is a World War II local bunker in Essex, and that's all I can say. But this is fantastic. Just proves there is a bunker where we live, underground. So um, I'm not sure if there's much else to do really apart from sift through some of this um, trash uh, in the hope that we might find something. We found some old bottles, which is interesting. We're gonna make our way back now. I bet this is where I get cholera now, like... <laughs> You've done well. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, my feet are uh, proper wet. But it's okay, because I've got safety soles on, and the safety soles is what counts. So, I can always dry my boots. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to keep looking around. There was, there was a lot of uh, ash and glass and stuff buried down here. Um, between the two of us, we've cleared enough. Mitchell did a fantastic job a minute ago. Um, and uh, I just kicked off the rest, really. Uh, we've placed these boards here so that we're not sitting on glass. Um, and uh, we've made our way down. Um, height wise, seven foot ceiling, it is. Seven foot ceiling by probably about, it's gotta be about five foot wide. And from the point of entry that we have to the furthest wall, I would say we're looking at about 20, 35, maybe 40 foot, um, which is nice. Uh, reinforced concrete. Um, oh, that's where some of the, the, the water could have come from. There's cracks in it up the top, like where it's been joined. Um, so I'm guessing that's probably where some of the water down here has come from. Um, but yeah, the fittings are still on the side from where the benches used to be. So these are World War II benches. Oh, I'll go off over to it. Um, at least that's what we believe they are. They're two ply, so four inches apart, held together with these big bolts. I think one of the bolts we pulled out earlier, so we can take a look at those as well. Um, so whether this was storage or an air raid shelter or both, I believe it is an air raid shelter looking at the way it's set up. I mean, we could try looking the other way and digging that way shortly, just go down a foot or two, see if it uh, goes in the other way, but I think this is our lot. So yeah, we're just gonna um, take some pictures and then uh, go through the rubbish for a little while and see if there's anything that's, you know, worth saving and uh, and, if, and whatever we find, we will uh, we'll show on video or on, uh, take pictures of. So right guys, um, once again, here we are. Pan the camera around inside. Obviously, the water was nice and clear, but where we've trodden it, it's gone cloudy, and that's that. So, I'm going to take some pictures now and I'll catch up in a minute when I get outside. All in all. Glad we made the effort to come down here today and, uh, and find what we found, uh, which is a, uh, a 
the World War II Aero Chilter, uh, complete with uh, bench fittings and an array of old bottles and things that we found. So yeah, I'll catch up in a minute. And off we go again. Oh. Right, guys. The biggest thing is to worry about is the broken glass. There we go. There's a hole in my bucket. More than one. Dear. Clive Eco. That's That's faulty. Yeah? Yeah. 1940s. Yeah. What is it? Gas can, yeah? Petrol can, yeah. Petrol can. Petrol Sorry, can my, my American coming out. Yeah, I need to move my ass because I'm it's sad awkward. There's a lot of slides going up here. Ow! A bit of glass straight up the A-hole. I'll be able to hold your ass as well. I'll be able to shit twice. To save time. There we go. Right, we're in. What have we got? Have a party can. Party can? Have a oh. Blimey. God, jeez, look at that. It's funny though, it's still got like, a bit of the print on it, but... It's probably the 70s, I'd say 70s. Yeah, yeah. I reckon I might be wrong, something, you know, did correct me on that, but I would hazard a guess that that's 70s. Yeah. What do you make of the... Uh... The, the wood, no, the wooden bit sticking out for the benches. Yeah, yeah, telltale. Yeah, long, kind of sick benches. This is quite actually, to be fair, it's quite a common construction. It's um, and they're kind of crawlies in here as well, shall I mean? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's clean. I mean, when we first got here and that, the water was crystal. You could really see yeah, the bottom. Yeah. It hadn't been touched forever. But I think, yeah, with the exception of the backfill, um, it's generally pretty tidy. There's no. Graffiti, there's no um, there's no signs of up to date harassment on the uh, structure. Yeah, that's definitely 100% the entrance. See what I mean? It's different, yeah, isn't no, it? So it's, it's got a baby. That's been, that's been shattered. But where the question is, is where does it go? Does it literally just go straight up to that bit we looked at where the floor did? So this is a, obviously a blast wall. Yeah. It has to be, but no, this is definitely um, That's definitely something that's else. That's definitely, yeah, it's the entrance, 100%. Concreted that up, yeah, and then backfield dress of rubble, possibly, and then concrete over there. Yeah, I highly agree. Uh, that's why I reckon if we make a hole, we should do it high up. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, well, we're like, it, there's, there's water coming through here. Yeah. It, do, it does lead you to believe that, obviously, you know, if you look at all the other wall, well, all the other walls are wet as well, but I mean, it's coming. Oh, you all right? There's a, there's a sun here. <laughs> yeah, there is. Sorry, my bad. There's a drain. It's like a, a foot square drops down. I'm not sure about a foot. <laughs> did, did you get no, did you where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I've looked around and I haven't seen any graffiti by um, wartime or anything. So it's damp. It could have just come off if it wasn't. But sometimes, you know, it does, it does normally last. Most, time, most right? of the time I've seen it, it's written in pencil. Yeah, you'd also actually get a pump down here. Yeah, pump this out because I reckon they could, they could be a few things. But what I've got to do is uh, I've, got to, I've got to speak to a certain person yeah. um, to see if there's any way that we can publish this but without, without this location. Like, yeah, that's what I want. That because yeah. it's, it needs to be shown. We want to say what it is without saying where it is oh, to protect God. it. And I mean, it, it might be alright just to name drop Shoebury. But I wouldn't want to go no. wearing Shoebury or anything like that, or no, give any no. telltale pictures of the way. It's when you stumble across an old incendiary bomb, it's like. Yeah. Well, I did think that. I thought oh, there could be ammo down here. Like we looked. First of all, we looked and we saw like what we thought was like an ammo can. Yeah. Uh, I um, uh, yeah. Luckily not. Or, or, you know, yeah. There's nothing at all. That's anything really, do you? No. No, not really. Yeah. As I said before, these wooden bits that stick out, they are the uh, the original bits where they, the benches would have been. So, uh, as and when the uh, the air raid siren 
get there eventually, uh, sounded, which wasn't actually too far from here. Um, then everyone in this location would make their way down here. Um, the way we got in was, and the way we're getting out, is um, what we presume, presume is the uh, emergency exit. Um, the lid's been replaced, we think, but we've done a search on it and it's still from the 1870s, so it's still pretty damn old. In fact, it's older than what we want, but we just uh, know it's been replaced. And there we go, this is the end where we turn right. I will draw a floor plan of this, so I'll be able to add this. And basically, this end bit here is different brick. Yeah, there you go, it was rude not to, wasn't it? So uh, the chances are we're the only people ever gonna go down here, so, um, yeah. And in our defense, it's on brick that's been, it's on cement that's been added later because we believe this is where the staircase used to be that led down to it, which would have been the main entrance, which is where the concrete dips upstairs. So, so over here. Oh, we have got some sort of sketching in there, haven't we? Like little circles of squiggles or something. Something there. G-I, is it? Something that's like a swastika there. You can see it. Vaguely. You can see it. With the I mean, my eyes are like shocking, but like, I'll zoom in later when I get home and like, clone it out. Maybe just like wishful thinking. But the air quality's been actually pretty good, to be fair. That's not bad, is it? No, not at all. It's not even musty. And um, so yeah, so this is like obviously we come out of this doorway. So like if we can, I'm gonna have to bait that one out. Um, oh my head! That's one of the sharp bit as well. Like I've only just got rid of the cut from the last one I've done. Like, every explore I cut my head. Damn it! So we get from being like 15 foot taller, on it? That's it. It feels like it's actually bleeding down the side of my head now. I'll check it in a little while. It's on that side, or oh, yeah, okay. right side, like yeah, right. We'll find out if I drop dead in a minute or whatever. Don't die down here, it's like, where are you? Uh, it's going to be hard to get to. Got <laughs> So yeah, so basically guys, this is like what we believe would have been in the stairway and it's been concreted over. And then we, as we turn left and avoid the bit I've just cracked my head on again, uh, we can walk out this way carefully because uh, Safety first and all that. There's a lot of stuff under the water that we can't see now. We do a slight turn right. It goes about a metre in. Um, yeah, but generally it's in really nice condition. Um, the concrete's actually held up pretty well. There's not too many cracks in it. Here we go. We do another left facing Clive. That's not a bad looking bottle, is it? That no, might be awful. worth bringing up as well. 40s or 50s, to be fair, I think. What do you reckon it was? That. Uh, it could have been... Um, could be medicine? Yeah, what I was going to say, it looks like a medicine bottle or like it's, a... It's clear. Dettol, is it? Or... It could be disinfectant or anything like that. It has a, it has a few other cap on it as well, to be fair, so it's... Maybe yes. we'll give it a smell when we get that outside. Was, that was lurking. I've just kind of, very carefully, kind of moved my feet up because you can't see what's under it. You don't want to be like putting your foot on a nail or something. That's true. So it's just kind of feeling with your feet and then lifting up. And just seeing well, what, seeing what the bench. treasure hunt in. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. So yeah guys, we're the only people that have been down here since 1970. That was the last time. And even then we don't know if anyone went down here. They may have just swept a load of crap down here and not actually been down here since earlier. Um, yeah, like this is this is basically it guys. I mean it's not massive, but to prove a point that it does exist in our area is a very, very high thing in my book. To find out that it was here. It's satisfying. It's certainly made my bank holiday, it must have been a lot of yours like, isn't it? Yeah. It's a dirty, stinking, wet hull. Yeah, yeah. But it's not, I mean, if these walls could talk here about what happened actually here during the war. Yeah, definitely. Um, it would certainly be interesting, I think. Especially the kind of confiscation that would have had without giving the place away, um, which would have been held in here. Yeah. As well. Yeah, probably some really good epic conversations. Especially if you've got, like, you know, if you put into consideration the alarms have gone. 
the siren's gone off and then suddenly you hear the roaring of planes above you, you know, and like unknown whether the bombs are going to come smashing down and what damage they're going to do and whether you're ever going to make it out of here alive or whether this is actually going to be a sealed concrete tomb where your body just stays forever and no one will ever know until someone does building work on it years later. Be interested though, you know that uh, drain, yeah. yeah. I wonder where that drain leads to. It's better than one, we're already underground. We're quite low, I mean, I would hazard a guess. I mean, it's, do you know what? If you poke that, it's probably blocked with sediment. But I wonder, if you do that, I bet that goes into the sewer out there. I wonder, because I mean, there's a stick over there, that red thing behind you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we could thump that into the hole. Yeah, I'm sort of if, it start, if it starts whirlpooling, I'll be well happy. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Now, mate, I'll walk it's it down here like I walk in the park then, wouldn't it? Well, it's just a very slight move across, you just kind of want something to Yeah, yeah. Like, it's all right if it's metal, because generally your boot crushes it, it's so old. But if you go on the, the side of a glass bottle and it rolls, yeah, it's like, you know. Not only get a leaky boat, but. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased I bought the waders this time. They're not done up properly, but like, they're, uh, they're doing the job. So, yeah, we've got quite hard working away over here. We've got our emergency exit slash entrance, whatever, over here. I think it's really blocked, It doesn't sound like it's clearing, to be honest. So Just for a heads up, and then if anyone knows, they're like, what's that sticking out there? Like, yeah, that's it. So, I, I bought glow sticks with me, but like, it's not big enough to warrant using them. Like, I'm just trying to go around the edges there, because as I say, there is stuff in here. There's, there's I mean, it's been here for so long. Yeah, it's like, you know, and given the fact that it probably will shift over time, it's probably going to shift over time. Yeah, 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 it's probably going to shift over time. And we've got, oh, we've got a number eight here. Eight? A number eight, or, or like an um, infinity sign. Uh, just around here. Just there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is, that, no, is that a section? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, yeah. So eight, eight pieces. So, yeah, so like, I'm guessing the others will be numbered as well. Possible. Um, going backwards somehow so that they knew which piece went where. When putting this together originally. I'm just having a look on the corner of uh, all the other ones, see if they, any of them have got anything on it. Some of the um, some of the sort of like uh, texture in the uh, brick is deceiving. Like you, you think it looks like it says something, and then it's like, no, hang on a minute. It's a mixture of cobwebs and uh, random cracks and things. Looking up here, mine. Yeah. It's black. This has been burnt. This has been burnt down in. What inside? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. If you look at the roof, look. It's all charcoal. It's not. Um, sorry, it's uh, soot. Don't press hard on the roof area in that area. Then. Is it? I'll There's come close. There's cracks up there as well. So. That's yeah. That, and there has definitely been burnt. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got cracks here. Yeah, and, and an upper bit, but I think that's more to do with what the weight was sitting on top of it. Yeah, the moisture—it's coming through the extra concrete. It'd yeah. be the uh, metal expanding. Yeah. Because really, if you look in it, you see inside it's reinforced. Really reinforced. Really 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say just rebuild. Yeah. <sighs> I'll get out. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It's not going to get me stuff in there. Generally, I'm all right at the moment. Right, when I go deeper underground, and I've done like the deep um, shelters and yeah. stuff, yeah, it does go a bit thin there. You can see that the air as well is a little bit. It's hazy. Yeah, it's, it's been good though. Like, you know, this is devolved, doing what we do best, finding stuff that other people haven't found, filming it, and uh, oh, well, it's hopefully putting it out eventually. I wonder how much we get for a return. I don't take it back. Oh, what's like that? Nice, proper lemonade. That's it, yeah. Returnable bottle. We'll take it out as well. We can clean it up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, nice we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. give it, give all this stuff a wash and that. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at that metal bucket, and well, I mean, like if we if that's empty, yeah, yeah. we could probably use that to carry the stuff back in. 
I don't know if there's like a hole in it or anything, but it looks like. Need to wash it out. Yeah, and then like all the stuff that we find, we've got something to carry it back in. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sweet. We'll carefully take that back out with us then. There's no one in your bucket. Alright. <laughs> Bearing in mind how long that thing's been down here, that's well, pretty remarkable. Yeah, no, that is, yeah, it's probably it's like a like fire bucket, isn't it? Like the yeah. one that you keep your coal and it's stuff pretty in. Pretty cool, actually, to be fair. Might so we'll get some pictures of all this stuff anyway when we're on top. It might be yeah, nothing, but this is what we It's a little bit holy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there it is. So we've got to be real careful with it, make sure we don't overload it. Yeah, Right, guys, um, this is um, Ben Clive in the background there, making his way out. Um, we are in our secret location, which we're not allowed to say at the moment. Um, but yeah, a local surprise that um, people disbelieved. So, um, as and when the time's right, we'll release this. This is the last time any of you locally are going to ever see this again. This is World War II original clean, very wet, but clean. And now we're gonna go and leave it as we found it, minus a little bit of a landslide. <laughs> Just be careful for the glass. It's like, it will easily cut you, like, it's, some of it's hidden underneath. Yeah, we've got it to run, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Don't forget your bucket. Are you out okay? Right guys, it's my turn. Um, I'll be uh, as careful as possible. Yeah. One second. Oh. Can you do me a favour and take my torch? Yeah, of course. Uh, do you want the canister as well? Yeah, please. Just turn it off. Oh, it's quite uh, delicate. Yeah, it is. I'm going to take the top of it off in a bit once we photographed it. You want that? Yeah, so I'm trying to get out to that pour in your head. It's all right. right. One bucket. Ouch. You alright? Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah, this is mucky to say the least, guys. <sighs> Right, well it's dark now, I haven't got my torch, but basically I've come from under here and now we're leaving it and getting out. I'm going to pass the uh, camera up to Clive, he can film me getting out. Clive? Right, out you pop. So when the mole emerges from his hole. It's awkward because I've got these... Uh, Bloody waders, waders on, they're all slippery, the soles are slippery. Oh. Just wanna, I'm not going to cut too high because it'll get in obviously. <sighs> yeah, yeah, don't The background which I'm are, not doing. Just, uh... <sighs> okay. So you just need to go through that film, just double check it obviously. Oh, yeah, that's cool, I'll right, edit it. So yeah guys, uh, that was it. That was where we came from. And uh, that is the last time anyone is ever going to see that again. Most probably. Right, guys, we're trying to put this thing back so that no one uh, hurts themselves. There's a little notch uh, just there, and we're lining up that notch, which is just there. Fucking heavy, man. To go back into it, and hopefully, this will uh, stop anyone from falling in, etc., etc. <sighs> Safety and all that really. That's it. There we go, look at that. Nice clean flush fit. And it won't rock now, so we can leave and feel happy that no one's gonna hurt themselves. Sweet. Right guys, well that was a uh, successful trip. Uh, we set out to find a World War II underground bunker or air raid shelter where we live. We can tick that off the list. We've finally done it. It wasn't amazing, but it was amazing. So anyway, we'll put what video and what pictures we can out and I uh, hope you enjoy them. So 
It's been a good day. Me and my shovel. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go home and have some beers now. So take it easy. Peace.